this slave named Thomas Peters and I can read. Yes, I can read real good, good, good. Me never let my master know I can read. I's a smart slave. Me let him think me need the newspapers to keep me warm at night. 1775 it was when the master's wife threw her old newspapers at my feet and my eyes catch the ad real good, good, good. King's army needs recruits and my eyes clap down upon their words, Negroes, we need you too. Lord have mercy upon me. Emma give me two good eyes for a reason. Emma give me two strong legs for a reason. Emma give me this newspaper for a reason. And I run and I run towards the flour mill. And we whisper to my friend, look, Dunsmore Proclamation. Come, come now, follow we. We're going to be free. Come join the king's army. And then I look upon me as if I'm crazy. What wrong with you? Why are you so uppity? We eat good, we dress good, we get few lashes, we're staying. Runaway slave get catch. Runaway slave losing feet. Runaway slave get kill. But I's a proud black pioneer. I a run for my freedom. And I run and I run and I ran from the Campbell plantations. 1760, 22 years old, running with my Egber clan when the net came thundering down upon my Yoruba village and them a shackle us neck to neck, clamp us ankle to ankle and frog march us to Bunce Island, the slave castle in Sierra Leone and them a sell us for a bottle of rum and a pouch of tobacco. And then I ship us to the Americas with my aunties, my uncles, my brothers, my cousins. All of them meet their demise, thrown overboard. And we watch my father sell. And we watch my mother sell. And we listen to my mother scream as Emma transport me down south to French Louisiana. And we try to escape three times before they must sell me to the Campbells. The first time I try to escape, them a place an iron belt upon me waist and them a brand me with a hot iron rod. But me not care. Me just keep on running and running until the king's army accept we. Yes, believe the king's army accept we. Yes, believe the king's army accept plenty black people. We are fight alongside these white people. We are help to maintain their crown. We are help to preserve their crown. I a fight for my freedom. I a defend for my freedom. I a loyal for my freedom. And them a promise we a guinea, some land and my freedom. But when the Revolutionary War was over, them a try to put us back on the block and auction us off. Go on, Peters. Show them your strong ape arms. Him a good to work in the plantations. Go on, Peters. Walk round and show the master how spry you is. But me now go back on the block. I's a proud black loyalist. I's a proud black revolutionary. I's a proud black sergeant. I's a first black American hero. But some of us never made it. Them a kidnap we and put us back into slavery. But some of us did make it and them a give us our papers. And we set sail to Nova Scotia in 1783. And when we arrive, we a look for our land and them a point to some swamp. And me say, Where's my land? And then I say, there's your swamp. And me laugh, and me laugh until my belly full. <laughs> because me get me swamp and me get my freedom. Because me get me swamp 
and me get for start a revolution because me get me swamp and me get for collect plenty signed petition because me get me swamp and me get for visit England and I stand in front of a royal government and rightfully complain because the land mash up and it have no grain because me fight for my freedom and then want to put me back into serfdom and me make friend with a white man named Clarkson and together we go back to Nova Scotia and recruit blacks from Annapolis Royal Valley, Birchtown, Halifax, Shelburne with a Cato Perkins, a Moses Wilkinson, a William Ash. Yes, believe we four, the first black founding fathers of a free town in Sierra Leone with me as their speaker general and White Clarkson as their governor general. And we left right here from Halifax Harbour. Women, men, Pickney, 1,100 of us volunteer to return back to the promised land. And when we step foot upon the land in 1792, my people, yes, my people choose White Clarkson to be their true general. And my heart break, it break. Mosquito drink my blood. And four months later, me expire from malaria, leaving my wife and my seven picnic to carry my name back to the Egba clan, where I'll always be a strong, proud Yoruba man. <laughs>